Oh, this is creeping net with hashtag Septandy. But let's play Zelliard. And let's play it poorly because I have no freaking clue how the heck to play this. Look at those graphics. 2,000 years from the dark reaches of another galaxy, a demon with not a shred of compassion for humankind descended upon the earth. Okay, so 2,000 years from the dark reaches of another galaxy, some demon is uh, with no compassion for humankind descended upon earth. Oh, could it be um, uh, the corporates? I don't know. Sea sweeters, politicians? He defiled the land, sounds like Donald Trump, sending vile creatures to live in it, and thus became the ruler of the world. <laughs> That's frightening. King Felicica. Felicica? All right. Appalled by what had happened, prayed to the spirit of the holy land of Zelliard for help in defeating this monster. With the help of the holy crystals called Tears of es es Esmasanti, the king managed to... <laughs> Rest power from the fiend and seal him deep within the bowels of the earth. Huh. And once again, the light of peace came to shine upon the earth. Well, we go through this Star Wars style intro with this very cool looking piece of armor in here. Honestly, I swear someone needs to port Dragon Quest to the Tandy 1000. If I could learn how to program, I'd do that. However, it is written in the sixth book of Esmazanti. The Age of Darkness. Ooh, suspense and waiting for text. Nice CGA armor. Didn't I already say that? M M M. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna steal a few from Behead 1000's book. I think for this one. Isn't there supposed to be some good music with this one, too? Oh, now it's getting some yellow, which nobody can see due to the uh, CGA color burst signal. Yeah, the um, picture just isn't doing this justice. Honestly, sometimes the color burst actually makes things look even better. Okay, this is kind of awesome looking. Some kind of gimp vampire thing. Beware, for I shall wake from my sleep of two thousand years and once again reign over the world. <laughs> well. Oh, this is going to be one of those games where we're only going to hear the audio from outside. I'm not sure why it doesn't come through the audio ports, so I'll take my headphones on, whatever. Look at that blazing fast 4.77 megahertz V20. <laughs> Alright, let's just get started. Seriously though, I think they could literally port Dragon Quest to the Tandy 1000. It would probably be awesome. Piracy Unlimited presents Zilliard. We're gonna have to cut this part out. Hmm. Yeah, so I get to sit here and wait while it, uh, the gerbil spins the hand crank.
Yeah, I don't understand why I have so many of these games that are really, really cool, but the audio just doesn't uh, come through the outputs in the back. Maybe that's why not a lot of people have done Let's Plays of these. Once long ago, a terrible storm came to land as Elliot. Dark clouds filled the sky. Let's just hop right in, without even understanding. That's half the fun. It's like playing Atari. Hmm. And yes, I'm playing this with a keyboard. Yeah, it would probably be better to play this on my, uh, on my, uh, laptop, probably, with ad-lib support, but... We're gonna try here on the uh, good old Tandy 1000, complete with color burst uh, cycle stuff and audio being recorded from my probably too quiet internal speaker. All right, let's walk around here and walk inside. Nice transition. Okay, we're in. Phyllis Chica's Castle. I love jumping into games like this that are highly complex without even consulting the manual. Nice animation. Oh, I'm Duke Garland. And then make haste to the labyrinth. Okay, so we need to go to the labyrinth, I guess. Hmm. My kingdom and the life of my daughter are at stake. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what's going to happen now. That seems highly unlikely, considering someone would just waltz into their home and just start destroying the place. For a brave warrior, we have raided. So I'm going to tell you throughout the ages, many of them have entered caverns, but few have returned. Isn't that always the case in these kinds of games? You know, they just say, Oh, yeah, many brave people have gone to fight this big evil thing, but they never returned. Well, uh, surprise, surprise. Oh, it's my cat. Hi. Yeah, Riff's co-pilot on this one. I've been in an underground town after I fled. They put a lock on the door if the town is still there. Probably not. It probably looks like Hawksness from Dragon Quest. This chamber of poor Chris Princess Felicia has been turned into stone. Oh, yeah, and of course, we got a princess to rescue, too. That's just how these games always work. Oh, let's go in here and check it out. We have a... Oh, this is the princess. We have the uh, turquoise princess. Uh, it looks great to you guys, but um, I don't know how to get the color burst signal synced up right on my CGA card, so whatever. Maybe someone else should do that for Septandy. Show how to maybe adjust this and you can just get the true colors from composite output regardless of what freaking thing you're playing. <clears throat> Wait for the screen to draw again. Okay, where do we go now? Yeah, the music is not doing any justice. Th th this. Oh, we got walking people. Hey, come back here. Cut the. Talk to me. Between the demon created underground caverns filled them with monsters, and it's. Well, of course. Th this is a video game. That's what they do. Visit the magic shop. Oh, so I'm a wizard? Okay, that makes sense. Come back here. Wanna restore my health? Santono. What is that? Uh, the uh, patron saint of record players? S no, that's Santone arm. Anyway. May I be of service, sir? 
Well, I have a weapon. Maybe I should buy a shield. How much gold do I have? I have a thousand gold. Hmm, we'll buy a shield, maybe. I don't see one. Wise man's shield. Yeah, that'll be 150 gold. Um, go outside. Alright. Mirala Town. So we just keep walking around in this game, I think. I'm not even... Uh, t so we gotta find Sand Tone Arm and, um... What is that magic shop? This looks like a church. If I walk in here and some guy starts, um, telling me Psalms 1349 or whatever the heck and starts telling me I'm a horrible, awful sinner for just waltzing into his house of worship unannounced. I'm tired of coming to this church. Oh. Yeah, because they just couldn't have the uh, chicks from uh, Zelda 2 in here. Why not rest a while and let the spirit heal you? Well, that sounds like a far more holy transaction than the one from Zelda 2. Anyway, let's go back out into town, because I don't need any healing, and I just blew a bunch of money on a shield that I probably don't even know how to use. Let's talk to this person. The road back is short, but the road out is very long. It will be very dangerous. Hey, who are you? Bring a legend's the name of this under... Almas. Huh, like Alma Mater? It's worth a... Hey, you! Oh, we talked to you already. Sorry to interrupt you on your walk up and down town. I got a good shield. My rule of thumb is usually to arm, protect myself. Hmm, courageous warrior. Never thought I'd ever be put in that list. He went to the caverns and never to be seen again. Eh, that sounds like my luck. Oh, here's the magic shop. They even put magic on the front of it. How about that? Oh, hello. How can I help? Eh, alright. We got a cute punk chick selling us stuff. Buy item. Um. Oh yeah, escape pauses. Um. Um, how do I exit out of this? Uh, we'll buy a Kenko potion. Uh, we don't have any of that. Oh. Yeah, tell me what some of the stuff is. Oh, it's a mild health tonic. What's this other one, Magicka Stone. Yeah, I think I'll buy some more of those $50 potions. They better work well. Alright. Alright, I think we're good on potions. I'm gonna go outside. Not... Eh, and she's gonna go back to organizing her shelf. Well, we're doing something now. I think. Oh, let's talk to this person. I'm back here. Oh, it's you again. What is this? The bar? So it looked like it said. And watches like 
15 wizards turn their heads. You ain't from around here, are ya? <laughs> Come on. Oh, who's this guy? Exchange Almas? Oh, this is the bank. I have no money. Well, I have to know. I have to walk in to know what your business is. This isn't exactly like College Street or something like that, you jerk. Can't just go wander, wandering into your business to find out what it's about. Come on, I'm from Earth. This is a foreign land, and I go by a different name, and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, well, I'm getting an idea. Don't run off. The L God? Ooh, what's this? Yeah, we're gonna find out what all these places are. It's kind of a cool little game. Oh, really? Sage Madrid. Mm. Yeah, I'll input my name. Uh, I shall record your experiences. And user disk, will you continue? Yes. Now let's go back outside. Let's see how much trouble we can get into. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing here. Anyway, let's go beat some stuff up. Oh, come on. Huh. Let's go in here. Oh, it's, there's the caverns. This would be far easier with an NES gamepad. I really gotta get to building that controller for this thing. Oh, hello. Okay, we're in a cavern. Oh, that's how we fight. Nice. Now oh, we got hit. The trolls aren't too bad, actually. I'm kind of surprised. These are demonic creatures. Damn, the music in here is awesome, though. Oh. Have you ever seen the frog man? Yep, I'm just gonna kill stuff until we... Got a slug. This reminds me of Pitfall, uh, Super Pitfall, a little bit. Oh yeah, this is one of those. This could have been ported to the Nintendo, honestly. Another one. 
Oh, you asshole. Killed two birds with one stone. We're just gonna keep playing until we die. Ah, oh, here we are. Shame I can't record the audio for this directly. It has some great music in it. Wow, that um, looks like a nightmarish hellhole of bats down there. It's even slowing the V20 down. Oh, come on, you guys. Die, all of you. I found the key. So I like gradually heal over time? Come on, Mr. Stupid Slug. Come back here. Oh, it's a damn rat. Must have caught the hantavirus now. This asshole bat. Come on, die. Come back here, you jerk. Come on. Come back here, you asshole. That bat does not like me. Okay, fine. Well, on health, I'm actually kind of surprised. Come on, we found a key. All right, well, we found something. Not bad considering I've never played this before with this much seriousness. Distinguish you, foul slug. Okay, come on, you jerk. Give me short work of that frog. <laughs> Actually, pretty fun. I haven't played this seriously before. What's in here? You have recovered. All right. Yeah, I had to log back into my Linux system. Oh, you asshole! Well, you're not surviving long with me around. Well, 
we actually survived the cave. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> well, maybe we'll return to this later. Hmm, this is kind of interesting. First time playing uh, Zilliard. Just gotta wait for it to come back. So I actually survived my first cave adventure in Zilliard. This game's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to check it out later, especially if I get a decent gamepad going. I could see a Tandy 1000 gamepad just totally rocking on this game. I finished making it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and save my game, and I think we'll call that for this one since we're about 25 minutes. I don't always want to do the same amount of time for everything. Um, let's record my experience. And there we go. Nope, I shall not continue with my quest. And anyway, this is Creeping Net signing out. I'll see you in the next video. Maybe we'll do Zilliard again. This game was kind of awesome. <laughs>